Happy February, everybody. Uh, we have January stats. Things are getting potentially out of hand. My question for today, is this organic growth or is this potentially hyperinflation? We're going to dive into the numbers and see if we can make a uh, determination for ourselves. So let's go over to Quar's monthly update. The uh, average price of our four property categories that we're following, uh, the sale price was $955,000 for January. This isn't the detached number. I know we just cracked through a million dollars for that last month. Things took a huge jump from December to January. And that's why I'm wondering, you know, what can we do about housing inflation? Uh, how can we get it under control so that sellers and buyers are still able to move in the market and enjoy some of the appreciation that they've had in their houses over the last few years? But also keep in mind that we want first home, first time home buyers to join the market and experience some of the um, you know security the, uh, and the other benefits of owning their own home. The average price of a detached home sold in January through Quar was a whopping $1.15 million. That's right, 13% increase from December almost, 12.9, and a 35.5% increase from the number that we had in January of 2021. So just one year ago, average sale price for apartment style condos was $538,000, which represents a 42% increase from last January's number and even 7.7% increase from just last month in December. The average sale price of townhomes and semi-detached are actually closing a gap I'm going to attribute that to more townhomes uh, being built over the last few years than semi-detached. Uh, so the average sale price for towns was 836000 which represents a 47.9% increase from January of 2021, one year ago, 16.7% increase from just last month, and then the semis uh, coming in a little bit higher at 849000 this is a 35% increase from the number we had in January of 21 and 10.3% uh, up from just December's number. Okay. This uh, report is available online. Just search QAR uh, monthly stats and it should show up for you. You can check out some of the graphs that we have here. But as you can see, our graphs are seeing uh, some exponential growth. Um, we see that the slope of the growth is increasing from, you know, even some very volatile times back of 2016. So check these out on your own time. Get familiar with this. If you're interested in ever owning a home, things are getting a little bit uh, urgent. And uh, I think it's time that we lean on some of our, uh, um, our government officials who can do things to make the supply of new homes a little bit quicker, maybe regulate how developers can sell these homes. I do know that there's quite a few buyers that are losing homes they put deposits on because builders are asking for more money. I don't blame them for that because it's a business at the end of the day. But what are the effects of that? A first time home buyer who put down one of those deposits and then gets their purchase agreement canceled, sure, they're gonna get their deposit money back most likely, but the increase in property values between the time they made that um, deposit and now is astronomical. And it could uh, stop some people from being able to purchase a home altogether. And then they're renting. We have more people flooding the rental market. And then that's going to drive rental prices up even more, which then gets investors more interested in buying more homes. So it's just kind of an, a continual cycle until the supply of homes and the supply of rental units hits an equilibrium where everybody's got a bed to stay, uh, a bed and a roof over their head at reasonable prices. And right now, I would not say that Waterloo, um, if we're looking at the historic prices and how much growth we've had, I, I can't say that it's very affordable for any locals. I know that we've got a ton of people coming in for, from Toronto, and we certainly welcome that. But we do need to focus on increasing the number of units that we have available for people living in Waterloo Region. If you're a first time home buyer, I would suggest doing anything you can to get into a property, even if it means moving to a city um, that's a little bit cheaper that you're not familiar with. 
um, as long as you can find uh, employment there or potentially commute to Waterloo, because uh, I cannot stress enough how nice it is and how much uh, comfort and security owning your own home is, even if you do have uh, a mortgage that you're paying, right? A lot of the times the mortgage is going to be less than the rent. And at the end of the day, you're going to be building equity over that time. It's time to talk to your government officials, um, MPs, everybody, okay? Just start talking about this stuff because the squeaky wheel will get the grease. We need to make it easier for developers to build new units and we need to put some security in place for people who are buying new construction, similar to what we have for resale, where as soon as you sign a purchase agreement, both parties are locked in unless, you know, there's a mutual termination, um, you know, or, or something else happens where lawyers will, will figure it out. But a lot of buyers right now, um, I, you know, I hate to say it, they kind of got screwed and their dollar's worth a whole lot less than it was when um, they made some of these pre-construction purchases and it's going to force some of these people um, out of the real estate market potentially forever. And I, I can't stress this enough um, as far as long-term wealth and security and financial freedom goes, home ownership is the way to go. And I really, really want to protect um, that privilege for next generations okay so tell your mps that this is a problem tell them that the cost of living is too high and that should be our main focus going forward as we come out of a pandemic which shut down our economy for multiple years okay you want the control in your own hands you want to be able to live in a house that you own take it from me who just bought six months ago even in a very hot market um, that's continued to go go up. I have no regrets about my purchase. I don't see any end in sight for this growth until we get more residential units in. So please email them, call them. If you know them personally, just maybe show them this video. That would be great. As always, if you have any real estate questions, please contact me. If you know a friend who's looking for a trusted agent and you feel that I'm that person for you, I would really appreciate you sharing this with them as well. Other than that, have a great February and I will give you more updates next month. Thank you.